This weekend, thousands will gather at the Florida gun show. This as the Biden administration considers new rules aimed at curbing the so-called gun show loophole. Tonight, as 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen explains, Florida gun show leaders say they've been on board with the proposal for years. If you want to exhibit here at our shows, we're going to do it safe and we're going to do it the way we think is correct. Roughly 10,000 people are expected to pass by these vendor tables this weekend at the Florida State Fairgrounds, each operated by a federally licensed dealer. Everybody plays by the rules. There's no gun show loopholes here. We have our own private security here enforcing that. Meaning unlicensed sellers cannot pass off personal guns directly to buyers here, as is allowed under state and federal law. That's something we took years ago, and it's just common sense. Uh, stuff that you know I, we wish everyone would practice. It's a business decision which has cost the Florida gun show at times. Financially you know you lose a little bit because there are people you know or there are vendors that you know might get upset about that. A personal gun can be sold but only if it exchanges hands with a licensed dealer. We're talking 25 or 35 dollars for a transfer to do it the right way, put it on the books. Some vendors argue the rules don't stop criminals from getting guns and can be tedious for responsible gun owners. If you eliminate it at gun shows, it would just simply place, take place outside of it in a parking lot. For the Florida Gun Show, it's a balancing act, protecting the right to bear arms with safe, responsible sales. In Tampa, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. The Florida Gun Show will run out of the Florida State Fairground Expo Center this Saturday from 9 till 5 and Sunday from 10 until 5. Admission is $13.